What's a story about healing have to do with forgiveness of sin? We read this story of a man who was paralyzed, brought to Jesus by his friends, who go to great lengths to get him to Jesus, actually. They have to cut a hole in the roof and lower him down because of the crowds. And after all that effort, this man is in front of Jesus, and Jesus says, your sin is forgiven. Well, that doesn't help him walk, does it? But you know, it does. Because in the end, Jesus says, take up your mat and walk, and he does. So what's the connection between the two? Make no mistake, it's not that the sin of the man created his paralysis. No, it's not a quid pro quo that if we're bad, bad things happen to us. That's certainly not the case. And Jesus makes that clear in other teaching as well. No, what is clear here is that wholeness involves being whole both in spirit as well as the body. That in the resurrection, all things were made new. God broke into this world, creating a new order. Actually, creating the order that was to be because it's based on what was. The world and all that is was created and God saw it and said it was good. To be good is to be in right relationship with God and all of creation. And we don't live that way now. But someday we will. And that someday is any day when we find forgiveness. And forgiveness is a gift of God that comes from God's grace. It's not earned. It's given. All we need to do is repent. And by repenting, we turn around. We turn around because the light of God is behind us. We've turned our back on God. All we need to do is turn around, face God, and receive the blessing of the light. Now, the light exposes our flaws, and we don't like that. But if we can face up to that, we can receive the gift of forgiveness. And if we've received forgiveness, then we've received love. What greater gift, what greater power could we ask for than that?